Hey guys, I want to give a quick demonstration on the servo motor bit from LittleBits. Here's the servo motor and here's the servo motor bit here. Um, attached to that we have a dimmer. The dimmer controls the amount of power that goes to the servo bit and then we have our power module here. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate two different modes that are uh, on the servo bit. The first thing is the turn mode. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. There we go, we got power. And as I move this, you're going to see the angle of the motor turn. You'll see the full range of motion is about 90 degrees. And so this is great for an application where you need to control the angle uh, of, of something. Okay. And now I'm going to show you the swing mode. If you go to switch it here to swing mode, you're going to see that, that uh, once it receives power, it's going to start automatically swinging between those two positions. Okay. If I increase the power, it's going to go faster. So now I'm going to put it to max speed. Okay. So this is great for any application where you want the motor to continuously oscillate between two positions. There's something cool about server motors that I do want to point out. And that's that if you uh, go to a certain position, and let's say some external force tries to push it out of that position, the server motor will automatically correct back. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to turn back to the turn mode. Okay, and so let's say in our application we say, okay, we got to this position, we want to stay there, we want to maintain that position. Now, let's say something, you know, someone runs into this thing or, or something falls on it and it tries to uh, move it out of its position, it, it will actually autocorrect. So I'm going to simulate that movement, so that external force. Okay, let's say it's here, and then I try to push it. Okay, you'll see that it's actually pushing, I'm trying to, I'm actually getting it out of position, but then it automatically corrects. Okay, you see that? Kind of like a spongy feel. So that's a great thing about servo motors because it will automatically uh, autocorrect to that position that you want to be at. Yeah, so that's a little bit different from DC motors and stepper motors. So if you want to maintain your position, a uh, servo motor is the way to go. All right, that's it for now.